All right, February, number corner. Here's Bridges' ideas, heavy hitters right here. They would say an additional notes. After looking through all of February and knowing what we're doing in the classroom, I would actually focus on the calendar grid and the calendar collector. I would actually like put those together as one. The calendar collector um, is measuring, it has you collecting a certain amount of an angle every day. I would scratch that, not do that. And I would just focus on what's in the calendar grid and insert angle ideas into that. So just check, check out your calendar every day and showcase the following vocabulary. Points, line segment, line, ray, and angle. And then all these down here, okay? And have kids practice drawing them. And then start showing them the uh, calendar grid markers and find the actual degree of the angles that are given in the markers. You could have these printed off so kids could use a protractor themselves each day to practice uh, what those angles are. As the month goes on, the markers turn into line segments that then produce a shape. And then you're trying to be as specific as possible about the shape into what type of triangle it is by looking at those angles and looking at the sides. And then um, it switches to quadrilaterals and being able to say what type of shape that is and being more precise with our language. Um, throughout the month, you could have the kids, after showing the calendar grid marker and talking through that geometric language, you could have them use the GeoBoard app or a GeoBoard and make various angles or shapes. You could have them go on to Khan Academy again and use these practice sessions to practice with angle measurement. Um, Math Playground has a good angle measurement right here. Last year, I sent some ideas on some art ideas for angles that you could do. And then these are the practice sheets given in Bridges Number Corner for February for angle stuff, if you want to make use of those. So for me, main idea of what to hit would be the calendar grid and really up the ante on geometry ideas. Um, computational fluency here is going to be uh, working with decimals and fractions, which is what we're going to do in class. But if you want to make it a daily quick thing during number corner time, last year we had a smart board file with a spinner. It looks like this. And we just had, we'd spin for our numbers of the day and we'd use our base 10 pieces to make those numbers. And then we'd write our comparison statement. So we could also make use of the number pieces app uh, to prove our answer. So instead of using the actual base 10 yellow pieces, we can just have them using the app and writing their statement each day on their Chromebook. Um, if you get sick of doing those comparisons each day, you could make, you could play the put it on the line game that deals with uh, fractions and decimals. We could also use this during class time too, to work on that. But you've probably played put it on the line before, so you know how it works. Um, I did put the digital display version of the game right there if you wanna load it onto your smart board to be able to play with the kids. Um, the other part it says is problem strings, adding and subtracting fractions. We're gonna be doing that in class. Uh, so, I would not focus on this during number corner because we're going to be doing it during math time. Um, so if you were to incorporate one fraction idea to do during number corner, maybe it would be this daily comparison of fractions. Otherwise, the heavy hitter in my mind is going to be calendar grid and focusing on geometry so they get some more geometry terms in their brain and they practice drawing these things and they practice measuring angles and naming shapes and being more precise with our geometric language. If you're interested in any of the solving problems worksheets, I have them way at the bottom here and you can find multi-step word problems if you wanna cut one off and do one a week or something, up to you, okay? All right.